Like we're simulating the Martian environment, so every time we go outside, we need to be in a spacesuit. We also like this is our airlock, so when we enter the airlock, we close it up. We wait three minutes for it to decompress and reach vacuum, and then we can go outside. And all together, when it's like fully on, it's about 60 pounds, which is similar to the weight of like a, what a suit would be like on Mars. So I'm Kim Binstead and I'm a professor at University of Hawaii at Manoa and I'm the principal investigator on the High Seas Project. This is an eight-month mission. It's the longest one that uh, has been done in the U.S. so far. Uh, we've had a previous four-month one, the eight-month, and then an upcoming about a 12-month mission. And all three of them have been focused on crew cohesion and performance. So we're looking at um, how well the crew works together, how that changes over time, and how their psychology and their group dynamics affect their performance. When we first walked out the door, it was kind of like scary for a second. Like, wait, I don't have a suit on. Like, is the air okay? Like, we've been pretending for so long. It feels awesome to actually have a sensation on your skin, though. So the parachute has has nothing to do with the study. <laughs> But uh, one of their crew members is friends with someone in the Golden Knights and they suggested it, it would be a really fun way for them to come back to Earth uh, would be to jump out of a helicopter and it's a pretty awesome experience. I am very proud of Martha coming out today after eight months in the dome. Right now it's very emotional actually. Yeah. Just want her back safe. Right. Yep. But it's history in the making too. Yeah. Because she's the first female mission commander. We're making history. This yeah. is awesome. first female Canadian. Yeah. And so proud. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think that one sort of overarching lesson is that uh, obviously astronauts are low drama people. But even when you have low drama people, if you have them in the habitat in a small space like this for four, eight, 12 months or the two to three years of a Mars mission, there's going to be some conflict. Rather than choosing people who you think will never have conflicts, you want to choose people who are resilient, who know how to respond to conflict, um, and who are able to recover from it.